Hi oh, guys, I've received my order from Chapter House Studios finally. I just thought I'd share with you what I got. You'll be seeing them uh, appearing on future videos as I uh, build up my forces throughout 2011. Uh, right, what we've got here, basically this is a um, an armoured front for a Predator tank. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will recognise this part. That'll slot just at the front of the tank. That's the um, offset part, and then they also do a centre part. Yeah, that should look quite cool, painted up, nice lenses in there. And these things are, uh, well, they're just like armour pieces, you can cut them to whatever length uh, that you choose. Um, so, yeah, that'd be cool to see how they look. Next up, I've got a uh, some extra armour sections for a Rhino. Now basically these are pre-heresy style type of things like here's the corner pieces, the doors and that's yeah that's the first part of the top hatch there's the other part. How's it go? Oh yeah that's it. Like so. And the front piece, which just has some nice uh, lenses on it again, I like that a lot. So it'll be interesting to see how they fit on a um, on a Rhino. The resin isn't uh, it's not too bad a quality. We'll see when I actually come to um, install them. Anyway, um, also um, I brought some. Rhino doors once again, which I thought these would be absolutely ideal for Def Company. Um, I like the tactical arrow on them as well. These are a little bit rough. I'm going to need some cleaning up, but they should fit quite uh, quite okay. The schools on them are great. I don't know if you can. Let me get too close. Yeah, they look okay. Not bad. Uh, also, I brought some alternative tuning heads. I really like these because they remind me of the uh, Aliens uh, group of films. <laughs> really cool, they're proper alien heads they are. They were coming from my Tyranid army much later on though, because I'm not, well, not going to be working on that any time soon. And finally, they do uh, their own version of a... Uh, let me get the scenes in. Uh, oh, I forgot what you call it. So I have a my optical, my septic spore, I can't remember. Basically it's a tyranny drop pod. Uh, the detail level on it is, is great. It shows the tentacles. Uh, it's got all sorts of weird looking openings on it. Painted up nicely, that should look really awesome. And they also give you a, um, a, a what? Oh, I forgot what they called it now, it's like a, a weapon extension, I suppose it's like to install a whip or something like that. I can't remember the exact spot you put it on, but you put it on there somewhere like that. Or the other way around, I can't remember. Add a lash whip to it or whatever weapons options that you're allowed. I can't remember off the top of my head. They do, they do, it comes in three parts, as you can see. Even the inside underneath is actually uh, decorated. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't look too bad at all. We'll see. And while I am, uh, I'm on the video, I keep forgetting to mention, I don't, I'm not sure if you're aware, but um, once upon a time YouTube used to actually uh, email you uh, any of your subscribers' uh, videos that they've uploaded. They no longer do that. If you want to be notified uh, when, say like myself, has uploaded a video, um, if you go to my channel page, um, and where it says at the top if you're already subscribed it will say subscribed but if you click that button a little drop down menu will come down and there's a little tick box where you have to tick and say that you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded if you don't uh, quite frankly you won't ever know if I've uploaded a video unless you actually look in your own subscriptions page so remember that guys or you're not really going to know when any new content's gone up Okay guys, cheers, talk to you soon.